All right, let's talk about how we're gonna adjust your training a little bit uh, as you get ready for Le Tape. We're not really sure how you're supposed to say that, but that's how we're gonna say it. Uh, big event in Australia got coming up. Uh, it's in November, it's about eight weeks from now. And it looks awesome. I went online and checked out the race profile. Uh, by profile, I mean like, you know, how, how much vertical, how much climbing you're gonna have to do. And that's one of the first things that I would recommend for anybody who's getting ready for an event, like a Grand Fondo. Uh, go online, usually they have the course there and not just the map, but the actual profile. So you can see what you're up against. You can see if this is gonna be a flat, fast course or whether there's gonna be lots of climbing. And the one that uh, Jesse has coming up is, uh, has lots of climbing. It's put on by the Tour de France. Um, I guess that's an organization that puts on events, which I had no idea about, kind of cool. Uh, and you know, the Tour de France is very famous for its climbs. So uh, when I saw that, I was like, yeah, this thing probably has a fair bit of climbing. So what are we gonna do to get you ready? Uh, well, uh, pretty simple. We look at the course profile and we ask ourselves, what exactly uh, is Jesse gonna need uh, to be ready for this event? And you're gonna need to be able to climb on your bike. Now we did a lot of that uh, leading into the last uh, event that you had. And as I mentioned before, the last event was flat, um, but we still incorporated hill climbing as a way to get intensity up in your body uh, just by default. Uh, you know, you start climbing a hill, it's gonna get harder, it's gonna make you work harder, it's gonna make you fitter. But now we actually have to incorporate the hill climbing as a way to specifically prepare for this event. So that's the one thing. Uh, we wanna make sure that you feel really good, efficient, strong uh, climbing up the hills. The other is that the event itself is quite long. So it's not just a 20K uh, with a little bit of climbing. Uh, it's long, so we need to build up your endurance. We need to keep building that up. Usually a staple in a program is an endurance ride in the week, uh, something that's a bit longer, really helps your aerobic foundation, makes you better all around. So again, we're gonna have a uh, long ride uh, in the program. Uh, another neat thing that we're gonna do uh, this time of year as we roll into September, October, November, days get a little bit shorter, uh, you know, maybe less time in the day to ride. Uh, we can incorporate some other things that are, are not cycling exactly, but will uh, lend themselves very uh, well to your cycling goal. And that's some uh, on your feet hiking uh, type activities. Um, not necessarily running, like pure flat out running on, on flat pavement, uh, but getting vertical. Uh, we have lots of great terrain uh, around here, Vancouver, Victoria, lots of hills to climb. So once a week, we're gonna have uh, Jesse going up and down some hills. Uh, when you're climbing, uh, you know, hiking, running uphill, utilize a lot of the same muscle groups that you will cycling. And it's just a different way uh, to get to the same place. So uh, lots of posterior chain, that's your glutes, that's your big you know, muscles at the back um, that also uh, are very important for cycling. The other thing that we're gonna include in, in the program uh, is some strength work. Uh, we have an amazing group here called November Project. Uh, it's actually uh, global, I think now, worldwide. Uh, this is a group of people that meets once a week and I know uh, Jesse's already been uh, to at least one of the sessions. Uh, all the people that run it here in Victoria are just like top-notch, awesome people. And they do a variety of strength training activities. Six in the morning, every Wednesday, rain or shine, uh, all year they do it. Uh, it. There's no breaks, they just are there every week. So that'll be another great addition. And when we combine all those things, that's gonna make you super fit. Uh, we have some specificity there with the long rides and the, and the climbing on the bike and no doubt you'll be ready for the next big challenge in eight weeks. And there you have it. Day 64 is in the books. Jasper laid it down flat. So hey, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. What was your biggest takeaway? Have you been to a November project? That being said, if you haven't been to a November project, find one. There's 51, maybe 53, somewhere around there. Cities around the world started in Boston. Two guys. You can just Google the rest. It's pretty easy. But go follow them. November project on Instagram. November project Vic if you're in Victoria. If you're in Victoria, join me every Wednesday, 6.30 a.m. I know it's early, but... Early bird gets the worm. So comment on this video. What was your biggest takeaway? Give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red button with the little bell. Ding! 
Have a great week.